The Manx cap might look like your average tabby or even a calico from the front, but take a look from the back and you'll see they're one of the most unique cat breeds of all. Across the globe, there are many people that have a special place in their heart for these cats with missing tails. That interesting physical feature automatically attracts curiosity, but it's the Manx cat's friendly personality that makes people truly fall in love with them. These cats are bonded with their people, and some even follow their humans around the way a dog would. Want to learn more about the Manx cat breed? Stay tuned to learn some interesting facts about these tailless felines. Their missing tails make them truly unique. While the Manx is the only cat breed born entirely tailless, not every kitten has this distinguishing characteristic. Having no tail is the dominant gene that most of this breed possesses. But every now and then, a cat will be born with a tail just like any other feline would. These cats are called longies, and while they possess all the other traits of their breed, they are not accepted for showing purposes. Longies aren't exactly rare, but it's much more common for a Manx to be born with either no tail at all or a stump of a tail. Those with tail stumps are appropriately called stumpies, and those with no tails at all are called rumpies. It's also possible to have a rumpy riser if the cat in question has a slight bone protuberance at the end of its spine. In the show world, only rumpies and risers are allowed to compete. Manx cats have other interesting physical traits. Whether you have a longy, a stumpy, a rumpy, or a rumpy riser, there is more to that Manx than their tails, or lack thereof. Described as being a round cat, you can identify a Manx based on their obviously rounded features. They have round heads with perfectly round eyes and broad, sometimes described as plump, bodies and rears. Another interesting physical feature of the Manx is that their front legs are significantly shorter than their back legs. This leaves their shoulders noticeably lower than their hips. Those long back legs are extra powerful, and they give these playful cats great jumping abilities. For their coloring, there are only a few fur colors that don't exist or aren't accepted in this breed. Your Manx kitty could be a solid color. They could have tabby patterns, or they could be a calico. For this reason, it's hard to identify a Manx based on their fur alone. You'll need to recognize their other physical attributes to make a correct identification. About 20% of Manx cats are born with what's called Manx syndrome. Due to their genetics, it's common for kittens to be born with a collection of defects including a short spine and problems with urination and digestion. These symptoms usually show up before the cat is about 4 months of age. Manx cats are people cats. Besides their unique physical characteristics, Manx cats also charm their humans with their affectionate personalities. Most of these house cats are playful and love to please their people. They're the type of cat that will follow you around the house and jump into your lap as soon as you sit down. Your Manx is also especially intelligent. They're often trained to do tricks, and they can even learn a few skills on their own. Don't be surprised if your Manx learns to open cabinets or even turn on the faucets. That intelligence and inquisitive nature can get them into occasional mischief, but with those big eyes, they won't stay in trouble for long. They're island cats at heart. The history of the Manx cat is largely speculative, but there are two things experts seem to agree on. One is that they originate from the Isle of Man off the coast of Britain, and two is that they first got to the island, they still had their tails. One of their theories is that the breed got its start when a few cats aboard the Spanish Armada managed to swim to safety when a ship sunk there in 1588. Others believe traders going back and forth from Japan picked up a few Japanese corkscrew cats. Those cats set up shop on the island and their isolated genetics did the rest. However they got there, the isolation that comes with island living and inbreeding due to a small population led to gene mutations. The gene associated with having no tail is technically a mutation that was passed down from generation to generation. Several legends have sprung up around why the Manx has no tail. One is that they're actually part rabbit, but we know that's not true. Another story says the Manx cat woke up from a nap right when Noah was about to leave on his ark. The cat ran through the ark's door but Noah accidentally closed the door too soon and cut off the poor kitty's tail. They're one of the most original cat breeds of all. As more cats were born without tails, the cats on the Isle of Man eventually formed their own breed. People started taking them off the island and breeding programs protected what is now considered to be the breed standard. They were one of the founding breeds that started the Cat Fancers Association in 1906, and Americans jumped on the Manx cat bandwagon not long after in the 1930s. Now that you've learned all about the Manx cat from the Isle of Man, stay tuned to the next video from the Catitude Daily YouTube channel to learn all about Mother Russia's beloved cat breed, the Russian Blue. There is so much to learn about these Archangel cats, so keep watching. You know you want to.